Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with a sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. So thank you Diamond Art Club for sending this over. This is one of the new releases this weekend and this is the absolutely beautiful Sea Queen. Oh my gosh. You guys, I adore Sarah Mustafa's artwork. I've completed a few kits by her from Diamond Art Club, and it is always so dreamy, so beautifully rendered, and just a joy to work on. And so I fell in love as soon as I saw this artwork, which I say often, but truly, truly, I adore Sarah Mustafa's artwork so much. So this kit, along with the other new releases, are going to come out tomorrow, which is Saturday, February 25th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific or 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. If you happen to be in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you will get a half an hour early access window, so be sure to set those alarms. This kit is gonna have round shaped diamonds, which most of Sarah Mustafa's kits from Diamond Art Club seem to have round diamonds. Uh, 50.7 by 63.9 centimeters, very, very, accessible size. It's not too big, not too small. We're going to get a really nice level of detail and it's not going to take a really long time to complete either. So Diamond Art Club does use some pink branding with their round diamond kits and on the back there's some info about how to diamond paint, your kit contents that will be included, and then of course a QR code that will give you 10% off your next purchase. Now as I'm opening this up I want to let you know that I am actually an affiliate for Diamond Art Club and have a 20% discount code if you're looking to make your very first purchase. So you're welcome to use it and save 20% off. Don't feel obligated. Uh, but it's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Thank you, thank you, thank you in advance if you choose to use it. No worries if not, there are other discount codes out there. You'll see a few in this video, actually. And others that just aren't that hard to come by. So <laughs> uh, let's take a look at what's included. So we've got our toolkit here. This bag is actually reusable and recyclable, if you didn't know. And this is one of their newer versions of the toolkit, which they started phasing in well over a year ago at this point. So all the new releases really should have this, this kind of style of toolkit bag. Now, since this kit has round diamonds, it's not going to have a pair of tweezers. Uh, that's the one thing that is missing. Well, it's not missing. It just doesn't come with the round drill kits from Diamond Art Club. But you're going to get a pen and squishy. The color on those is going to vary. You're gonna get some wax and a little caddy here. And uh, there's a thin plastic film on there. Be sure to peel that off before you try to load up your pen. There are also a couple of thin plastic multi-placers that you can pop in the end of your pen if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. We've also got some baggies that you can kit up into or store your leftover diamonds in if you like. And then this is just a regular white tray. You might get this kind or a, a clear one with gold sparkles. This is actually not a piece of trash or a mistake. It is a tray stopper that you can just pop in the end there and it'll stop the diamonds from falling out while you've got diamonds in the tray. Now these last two pieces just come with these newer toolkits in this bag and I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, here we have a cover minder and a roll of washi tape. Now cover minders, there's um, the magnets that were supposed to be glued on the back. Just so you know, because this has been a little bit of an issue lately, if you pick up some E6000 glue or even just hot glue or crazy glue, really inexpensive from the store, um, you can just put a dab on there and then put you know the one magnet on the back and let it set for a couple minutes and that it'll be good to go. Anyway, so what you can do once this is all good to go is slide this part of the, slide one of the magnets rather, under the canvas of the area you're working on then put the canvas back down, peel back the plastic cover and set this on top and it'll hold back your cover and look super darn adorable. <laughs> the style on these will vary. I like these little animals a lot, actually. There's, there's a lot of variations on those lately. Now, washi tape, the print on these is going to vary a bit. Um, I like to use washi tape around the border of the drill field on the canvas because sometimes there is just a little bit of glue that goes past the edge of the drill field. Covering that up means that you're not gonna get dust or dirt stuck in there, which is nice. And uh, I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvas. I have a whole video dedicated to how I use washi tape. It has a demo and all of that. I will link to that below in case you're curious. So Diamond Art Club does also include this small logbook sticker. And it has the original artwork, the title, the name of the artist, the, the some stats. I like to use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a painting. 
Some people will also use this on the side of the box to help organize their stash a bit, but um, yeah, so I like the Diamond Art Club does include this. You can find something else crafty to do with it if you like as well. All the rest of the kit contents are gonna be here in this branded plastic bag, dust cover here. Let's take a look. Oh, that's right. So Diamond Art Club started further upgrading their canvases. This is so soft, I just wanna pet it. It always takes me a little bit by surprise. Uh, so let's take a look here. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh, Sarah Mustafa's artwork is so, 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 so lovely and soft and Diamond Art Club does such a nice job with it. Oh, I love that so much. Look at the textures, look at the softness in her hair and in the background. This is lovely. Oh, I love this, you guys. Okay, so included, we're gonna have diamonds and um, a sticker sheet, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. And then here we've got a pamphlet with a thank you note from the founder some info about what's included in your kit, a QR code that'll take you to a beginner step-by-step -step instructional video, which I will also link to one that I've done below, a link to their VIP Facebook group, which is a really helpful resource once you've made your first purchase. Lots of behind the scenes fun happens in there as well. Step-by-step -step instructions written out for you, some tips and tricks as well, another discount code, and then QR codes that'll take you to the mobile app on your respective device, which is a handy thing to download if you like having push notifications for sales and restocks and stuff. It's just, it's a nice inclusion. And you also get 20% off your first purchase through the app as well. On the, this larger sticker sheet, there's the title, the artist, a spot chart, your start and end date. And look at that beautiful original artwork in a larger form there. Oh, so gorgeous, so gorgeous. Round diamonds, 20 by 25 inches or 50.7 by 63.9 centimeters. Over here, you guys, we have a set of pre-cut stickers, a total of 45 colors in this kit. Again, these are gonna be round drills. We have the, the legend or the serial number here, the symbol in this column, and then the color code, which this is based on the DMC color code system. DMC brand of floss, it's where a lot of diamond paintings get their color code system. With Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB, and we'll take a look at that more closely when we're looking at the diamonds. I also wanna point out that it looks like this is gonna have a special kind of diamond. I believe this is gonna be an iridescent diamond with a crystal effect, L5200, maybe a clear iridescent diamond. We'll take a close look at that once we are looking at the diamonds as well. These are all pre-cut for you, so if you like to kit up your diamonds into storage containers or baggies, it's easy enough to then find the symbols and grab those colors when you're actually working on the kit. Now let me take you on a little tour of the canvas. By the way, if you're noticing that your edges wanna curl up just a little bit like this, a couple of things. If you wanna hurry it along with flattening, you can roll it backwards. Diamond Art Club uses poured glue on their canvases. So this is totally safe to do. If you don't want to do that though, you can just wait. And uh, Diamond Art Club's canvases are self-flattening Give it a little bit of time and it will lay flat on its own. Up here at the top of the canvas, we have Diamond Art Club's branding, Do What Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The backing is super, super soft. I'm telling you, they keep upgrading this canvas material. And it's it's not just super soft on the back, it's actually a really lovely material to work on. It's, it's thick and plush and it holds drills well and lays flat well. Um, and Diamond Art Club does use poured glue. It's very sticky, it's very forgiving, so if you place a diamond and need to adjust it, that's really easy to do. The edges are surged or finished and scalloped, so you're not gonna have to worry about fraying on your canvas. We do have a legend up here at the top left and the same legend over here at the bottom right. And then at the bottom left, we have the thumbnail and the title and the size, and of course, copyright Sarah Mustafa. So. Diamond Art Club does legally license all of their artwork from the artists, which means that, like in the case of this artwork, Sarah Mustafa has both given permission for the use of this artwork and is being fairly compensated for it. So art theft is unfortunately a bit too common in the crafting world, so I'm always going to support and shout out companies that are doing right by artists like Diamond Art Club is. Here are their socials and another discount code. Be sure you're following them on Facebook and or Instagram to stay up to date with previews of weekly new releases and other special sales and whatnot. 
And then here's info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you are covered under that lifetime warranty, which is anything from if you run out of diamonds to issues with the canvas or the glue, like anything at all. Contact their customer service, they'll get you taken care of. We're looking up close at the drill field here. Look at all these soft neutrals. Muted tones, muted tones. One of my favorite, favorite things. If you've been around for a minute, you'll have heard me talk about that. It looks like there is some color blocking going on in this canvas. So here's a really good example of color blocking. Color blocking is when you have a large section of the same color in a small area. You'll be able to use your multi-placer in that area and that tends to go faster. It'll That color will also be in your tray for a bit longer. So that is nice to have. We are also going to have some confetti. These are good examples here. Confetti is when you have lots of color changes in a small area. So you'll be mostly single placing, changing out the color in your tray more often, that sort of thing. I like to have both in my canvases, quite honestly, because confetti has the payoff of giving you more detail and it keeps, uh, keeps interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. So don't mind the kitten. <laughs> Look at her beautiful face. Oh, she looks gorgeous. Now this is a round drill field and Diamond Art Club did kind of get rid of um, the way that they did their round symbols on the drill field. It used to be that there would be like a white circle, um, no matter what the actual color of the drill was, or there'd be some kind of other really uh, distinct looking circle, but they've instead done away with that and there now is a very, very, very faint circle there. But this is actually, I think a really good thing because now that means that if you don't place the diamond exactly perfectly on the canvas, you won't see that off color circle showing behind the diamond. So I actually like that they they did update the drill field just a little bit, just a little bit to, to make that a little bit, I don't know, make it more likely that it's just gonna look really nice finished. So let's measure and see if we're true to size. We usually are, but I always like to double check. So we're at about 63 and almost 64 centimeters, which is what it is listed as. And then this direction we are at almost 51 centimeters, which is what it is listed as. So we're gonna call that true to size, which is not shocking, not shocking at all. Diamond Art Club's canvases usually are. Now let's take a look at these diamonds. Pretty color spread going on there. Camera wants to focus on her face, which I don't blame it. Uh, we do have the name of the piece here in case you store your diamonds separate from the canvas. Easy enough to match those up again later. So there's a little better. Look at that color spread there. So pretty. So, 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 so pretty. All right. So right off the bat, you guys, we have some pretty light colors. You guys, 3865. 3823169. Diamond Art Club's drills are all resin, 100% resin, and they are made in house, which means that they have their own process and, and molds and whatnot. And so we get these really, really nice, super faceted diamonds. Here we go, you guys. This is our first special drill, 139. This is called an AB diamond. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these are named after the Northern Lights. If you take a look, there's this super, super, super sparkly and bold iridescent coating on the tops of these diamonds. And it's it's giving off a lot of different colors. The areas that these have been charted are going to dry your eye. It's gonna highlight those areas and have a really, really amazing effect. So we do have just the one AB in this kit and it's gonna be this nice big bag of 139. And don't worry, I will be sure to go through the canvas and show you where we're gonna find that AB and also our special drill. That camera really wants to grab her face. So I wanna make sure you guys can get a look at the colors of these diamonds. Lots of beautiful neutrals and muted tones. This is really totally my wheelhouse. I love these colors. I love these colors. And like I said, I, I have completed um, a few kits by Sarah Mustafa from Diamond Art Club and have been so thrilled with how they've turned out. Um, if there are ones that I've done a post review on, I will link to those in the comment or sorry, in the description box below. If there's not a post review on them, maybe I can link to the Instagram post where you can see that where I've pin it, posted the finished picture for yourself, um, which I do have an Instagram account. I post my whips, my works in progress as I go. You'll see plenty of diamond art glow over there. 
And I know lots of people enjoy seeing kits completed or worked on so they can get a sense for how the artwork really looks with drills down. So feel free to follow me on Instagram if you have it. All right, here we go. This is our other special drill in this kit. Yes, it is an iridescent diamond or a crystal diamond. So L5200. And if you wanna see a really up close look and some examples of different color iridescent drills that Diamond Art Club does carry, I have a new video that I put out recently that's all about Diamond Art Club's special diamonds. But for now, this one, you guys, you see there's that mirrored looking metal backing. That's the base of the diamond that covers up the symbol totally so that the iridescent crystal effect, especially because these ones are clear, they're kind of semi-transparent, um, so that we're not gonna see the symbol behind that drill effect. <gasps> those are gonna be so sparkly. They look like little mini diamonds. Like, geez, those are so pretty and so sparkly. I think it's a really nice choice for this kit too. We'll take a look together. I wanna, I wanna take a look and see exactly where on the kit those are going to go, where in the artwork they've been placed. And that's it as far as colors go. Those colors, I'm telling you what, those are so darn pretty. Okay, so we are looking for, okay, this symbol, which is like the little upward slash for our iridescent diamond. And then we have one AB, which is the number one. So I see a little bit of the iridescent diamond sprinkled through here. Is this kind of on the sleeve of her shirt or maybe the water splashing up? Or her dress, she's wearing a beautiful, beautiful dress. It's almost bridal, almost bridal. But like, she's also, she's a sea queen. So it's very like nautical too. Oh, I love I love the textures and everything. So that iridescent diamond is sprinkled all through in here too. I actually see some of the, ooh, oh wow, a lot of the gray AB. Is that, is there detailing in her sleeve maybe? Okay, so the white crystal, the white, or sorry, the clear iridescent diamond is sprinkled kind of here at the bottom in those clear areas. And the gray AB is kind of laced throughout like the sleeve of her dress, also through parts of the bodice of her dress, and actually sprinkled through here as well, just kind of, imagine someone went sprinkled. <laughs> oh, in the waves as well, the gray AB, there's actually some kind of bigger sections of it here as well as over here. Um, a good part of the white that you're seeing here in the bodice is that iridescent diamond, yeah. It's, some of it is just a regular white drill, and um, it's like half, like half of it is a non-iridescent diamond, and the other half is, so that's gonna be so pretty. As well as in here, some of this is that clear iridescent diamond, and some of it is just a regular white diamond. And then as we get up into her hair, I was gonna say, yes, I wondered if we'd have some of it in here. So in on her earring and this earpiece, there's some of the iridescent diamond ooh, this sprinkling of this beautiful beautiful hair piece that that she's wearing tons of that almost all of that is the white iridescent diamond and then up here at the very top which you can't, can't totally see is our gray ab there's just a nice little patch of it and a little bit a little group of it over here i love that i love that because when you look at this artwork i feel like especially you think like Okay, where would I imagine some clear iridescent diamonds to go? Yeah, like the pieces in her hair here. It just gives it a really delicate effect. And once again, I feel like Diamond Art Club has just done a beautiful job of rendering and use of special drills. So I love it, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love Sarah Mustafa's artwork and this was just a must have for me. I, I am in love. <laughs> So let me give you a really quick recap. The name of this piece is Sea Queen. It's like I said by Sarah Mustafa. It's 50.7 by 63.9 centimeters. And this is really like one of my very favorite sizes of diamond painting to work on because it's not too large, but I know that it's going to be a really nice project to work on and, and that it's going to work up beautifully. Um, it has a total of 45 colors, including that one AB and that one iridescent diamond. And it's just gonna be beautiful, you guys. So this kit along with the other new releases are coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, February 25th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget, if you're in the Ruby or Diamond tier of the rewards program, you do get that half an hour early access window. 
Now, just a quick word of advice. If this kit's on your shopping list, any of, or if any of the other new releases are, be sure to set your alarms because we don't know ahead of time which kits may be marked limited edition. Some kits are marked limited edition after the fact, and nine times out of 10, once a kit is marked limited edition, it really is, it's the rule. There have been a couple of exceptions, but it's very rare. Um, if a kit's marked limited edition, once it sells out, it will not be back. So you want to make sure that you don't miss out on any kits that are on your must have list or even your maybe list for the weekend. So set your alarms, don't sleep on it, literally. <laughs> but I'm gonna let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you wanna see more diamond painting content from me, including reviews of finished kits, tutorials, tips and tricks and of course more unboxings. I would love to have you as part of my community here. Thank you again for hanging out with me. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, snarky thoughts down in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to help, but otherwise I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll talk with you guys again soon. Bye.